baseball fans and sports fans and status pro fans. It's been a while since I've had a status pro game on my channel and I'm doing it today. Today it's going to be the 2005 Texas Rangers against the 2005 world champion, I might add, Chicago White Sox. Uh, today's pitching matchup for the Rangers will be Kenny the Gambler Rogers going up against John Garland of the White Sox. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. And Kenny Rogers is a, uh, um, a starter reduction 15 and uh, Garland is a starter reduction 14. Now, both pitchers are in control on two to eight so there's going to be almost every reading is going to come or not almost every reading but a lot of the readings are going to come off the pitcher's card not the hitter's cards in the in this game that's how dominant those two guys were so let's uh, get this started texas is the visiting team as always, I put the visiting team on this side, even though the way the game was made, it puts the home on this side. I can't get used to that. Um, I'm always used to the visitor being on the left side. So the lineup for Texas will be Michael Young at shortstop, Alfonso Soriano at DH, Mark Teixeira at first base, Gary Matthews, the Sarge's son in center field, Hank Blaylock at third, Lance Nix in left field, Mark DeRosa at second base, who now works for the um, MLB Network, uh, David DeLucci will be in right, and Rod Baraja is doing the catching. And so here is Michael Young, and that is going to be off of um, Garland's card, and it is an 88, and an 88 I'm sure is an out, and it is indeed an out. And um, we will see what kind of an out he is, uh, what kind of batter is he. He is an RP. So an RP is an F5. So he's out, and uh, Soriano is out. Soriano, the DH today for Texas. And he gets a 9, so it's going to be on his card, and it is going to be a 26 on his card. And that is going to be a double. Double to right field. So we got our first hit. And there is one out. So, um, you know, and if you've seen my games in the past, don't really trust the out marker because it might be wrong. Because I'm not good about keeping up with that. Mark Teixeira, and that is a 9-2, and it is on his card, and that's a 25, and that's going to be a double to um, a double to center field. So that he knocks in a run, and uh, there is one run in for Texas with a man at second, and only one out, and Gary Matthews is up that is a uh, seven that's going to be on garland's card and it is a 35 and a 35 on garland's card is a walk so garland is really not doing well here oh and by the way we have two doubles and a walk and a run scored so garland is already down to a 10. Um, and that's another thing I might be a little behind on keeping up with, but Blaylock is up, and he gets a 7. That's going to be on Garland's card, and it is a 62, and a 62 will be an out, and he is an LP, so we'll see what kind of an out that is, and I'll go F6, so that is an F6, two away, and... Up steps Lance Nix. Lance Nix gets an 11. It's going to be on his own card, and it's a 76, though, and so he is an out. And uh, that, he is an LN, so we'll check the LN to see what kind of an out it is. And I'll go G6A. So 
he gets out and that is it but texas does score a run in the top of the first and that brings up the chicago lineup and the first batter for chicago yes the uh, chicago batting order will be scott pozednik in left field aaron rowand in center batting third is canerico the first baseman the cleanup hitter will be big frank thomas the big hurt um, batting fifth will be Jermaine Dye and Wright. Batting sixth will be Joe Creedy, the third baseman. Przinski, the catcher, is batting seventh. Um, Iguchi will be the second baseman, batting eighth. And Uribe, the shortstop, will bat ninth. And that's a 12. It's going to be on the card for Pizednik and a 32. And a 32 is going to be a double to uh to left field so lead off double by the white Sox. maybe they can get something going immediately and jump on rogers aaron rowan aaron rowan that's going to be on rogers's card and that's going to be an 18 on rogers's card though and that is a single to center field i'm not going to send them an extra base mainly because i don't know how to do that in this game and i don't want to sit here and take a look at it <laughs> paul, <laughs> paul canerico is up that's a five. It's going to be on Rogers' card, but it's a 42. And a 42 on Rogers' card is going to be an out. He is an RP. And an RP, it says all go G4. So we have to look at the G4 and see what happens there. Okay, that was a double play. And um, the runner on third ends up going or the runner on second ends up going to third and there's two down. And uh, that brings up Canerico. Or that brings up uh, Thomas, sorry. So Frank Thomas is up with a man at third and two down now. And that is going to be a six. It'll be on Rogers' card, but it's a 43. And that is going to be an out. And he is a uh, right-handed power hitter. And RP says ground out to six. So... Um, the White Sox come close to getting a run, but they don't. But really what happened is they didn't. And so it's still one nothing Texas. So we go to the top of the second with uh, DeRosa batting. Is that right? Or did he bat last time? One, two. No, he didn't. So DeRosa will be the hitter. That is a six. So it's on, um, it's on Garland's card. And it's a 41. And a 41 will be an out, and Rosa is an RP, so we'll see what happens on that. An RP is going to be an FD8. Fly out deep to eight, and that brings um, um, oh, I, oh, I got the wrong. Delucci is up, one down, and that is a seven and a sixty or a twenty-six. So it's going to be on the pitcher's card, on Garland's card, and it's a twenty-six, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Delucci does strike out. That's two down, and the batter is Rod Baraja. Baraja gets a 9, and that is a 58 and a 9. Um, 9 is going to be on Baraja's card, but a 58 is an out, and he is an RP, right-handed power hitter. And uh, that is going to be a G6 with a possible error, and we will check for the, um, uh, the error. The 6 is... Um, All right, I uh, flipped the card and checked it, and it is a two-base error for Uribe. And so, um, there is one man on with now two down, man at second, and Michael Young, the batter. So Texas with another opportunity here. That is going to be on Garland's card, and it's a 46 on Garland's card, which is going to be an out. Young is an RP. We will check the uh, card for RP. I'll go G. 
uh, G3 with a possible error. That is the first baseman. I will check the first baseman. We'll check for the error on the first baseman. That is not going to be an error at first base, and so that is an out. And uh, Soriano will be the leadoff hitter the next inning, but um, the Rangers came up with nothing. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Jermaine Dye is the batter. And uh, also, let me catch up on this. There was an error, so we de um, declinate him one. And Rogers needs to come down one because he gave up a double uh, last time. No, he gave up a double and a single. So he comes down two. So now we're caught up with the pitchers. And Jermaine dies. And that is a six and a 77. That's going to be an out. And he is an RP. We will check the out. And it says, I'll go G GX6 with a possible error. And um, the error says it's an error one. So runner on. So Jermaine Dye gets on by an E6. The shortstop makes an error, and that is Michael Young. And so Joe Creedy comes up with a man on and no outs. And that is a 9 and a 64. 9 will be uh, the batters in charge. That's Creedy, but it's a 64, which is in his out section, and he is an RP. We'll check the RP, and that says I'll go GX5, which is a possible error. And... Um, It says uh, no error. So there is no error. And Przinski is the batter. One out, one on, and a five, and a 21. So that is going to be on the pitcher's card, Kenny Rogers, but it's a 21, and it is a single to um, right field. And that does bring down, and actually this, he comes down two more, Kenny Rogers does, so he is on 11. That is an 11, so it'll be on the batter's card, and it is a 36. And uh, a 36 on a Gucci is a strikeout. So a Gucci strikes out. That's two down, two runners are on for Chicago, and... They've got Juan Uribe up. And that's a that's a nine. That'll be on Uribe's card. And it's a 22. Is this? Yeah, Uribe 22 is going to be a double. Double to left field. And a run scores for Chicago. Back to the start of the lineup. And he gets a four and a 65. Um, that's going to be on Rodgers' card. And a 65 isn't out. And uh, he is an LN, but Zednik is. And LN says FD9, fly out to nine, no possible error, so he is out. But Chicago ties the game in the bottom of the second. And we have a 1-1 game on our hands with, with Alfonso Soriano up for Texas. And he gets a 7, which is going to be on um, Garland's card, and it's a 21. 21, and that's going to be a single. Soriano gets a hit. Garland comes down another. And uh, uh, Mark Teixeira, Teixeira gets a 7 and a 75. So that's going to be on Garland's card, and it's a 75. Which is an out, and Teixeira is an SP, switch hitting power, or uh, normal power. I'll go F9, so that's just going to be a fly out to right field. And Gary Matthews, the Sarge's son, comes up with one on, one out. 
he gets an 8, which is going to be on Garland's card, and it is an 87, which is going to be an out, and we will check it for an SP. Let me, nope, Gary Mack, well, he is an SP as well. And I'll go G4 with a possible error, and there is none. So that's going to be, uh, oh, wait a minute, let's see here. GX4. So we're going to have to check the GX4. Um, there is no error, but uh, it might be a double play. Okay, it is not a double play. The uh, runner was safe at first. So there's two down, and... Um, And Blaylock is up. Blaylock with a 7 and a 76, or a 67. 7 and a 67. That is going to be on Garland's card. It is going to be an out. We're going to check the LP. See what kind of an out. LP is an F7 with no error. So uh, no runs come in for the Rangers in the third. And we go to the bottom of the third, where the White Sox will be sending up the uh, batting order of um, Aaron Rowan, Canerco, and Thomas. Rowan gets a 6, which will be on Kenny Rogers' card, and it's a 75, and that's going to be an out, and he is an RN. RN all goes G1, but a possible error, and there is none, so it is a one to th one to three. Canerico is up. That is an eight, so it'll be on Kenny Rogers' card, and it is an eleven, and an eleven is going to be an infield single. And that's going to knock Kenny Rogers down to a six. And uh, it's going to bring up Frank Thomas, or no, Canerico. No, that was Canerico. It's going to bring up Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Man on, one out, four is on Kenny Rogers' card. It is a 43, that is going to be an out. Thomas is a right-handed power hitter. I'll go G5X with their, our G5 uh, asterisk possible error but there is no error so uh, he go and uh, g5 we'll have to check the g5 with a man at first and that is going to be a double play grounder so the White Sox get no runs in the third we go to the top of the fourth with Lance Nix up Lance Nix gets an 8, so it's going to be on Garland's card, and it is a 54, which will be an out. Lance Nix is an LN. We check the LN, and it says G6A, possible error, and uh, 8 to 10. He's a 3, so I'm assuming that that's not an error. So Nix is out. He is out here in the fourth inning, and uh, Mark DeRosa is the batter. And that's going to be a six and a, um, it's, it'll, it'll be on Garland's card and a 56, and that's going to be an out. And he is an RP, and an RP all goes G5. Possible error, and the error is none. And that brings Delu Delucci up. David Delucci. And he gets a 9, which is going to be on his own card, but it's going to be a 37. And a 37 on his card is... Um, is going to be a strikeout. 
So DeLucci strikes out to end the inning for Texas, for Texas's inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. And uh, not Frank Thomas is up, but Jermaine Dye. So Jermaine Dye up here in the bottom of the fourth. In a 1-1 game, and the 10 is going to be an 88. That's going to be an out. He is an RP. RP says F7 with no possible error. Then Creedy is up. Or no, well, yeah, Creedy is up. And he gets a 6, so that'll be on Kenny Rogers' card. And it's a 38. 38 is an out. Uh, we check the RP. RP is a G5A asterisk, which is a possible error, but there is none. And Przinski is the batter. And uh, Brzezinski gets a 9 and a 71. And that will be on his own card, but it's a 71, which means he is out. And he is an LP, and all go G6A. There's a possible error, but there isn't one. So we go to the top of the fifth. 1-1 one, one game here between the 2005 Texas Rangers and the 2005, um, uh, the 2005 uh, Chicago White Sox, my boys, the White Sox. So Baraja will be the batter to lead off here in the top of the fifth for Texas. He gets a three, which is on um, Garland's card, and it's a 65, which is an out, and he is an RP, and an RP says I'll go F4. So that's one down. Told you I was bad about keeping the outs. Um, I mean, I did there, but I know I've been missing it. Michael Young is the batter. That's an eight. It'll be on Garland's card, and it's a 68, which is an out. And he is an RP, and an RP goes all F2. And Soriano is the batter. Two down very quickly. And Soriano up, and that's on Garland's card, and it is a 37. And a 37 is an out. He is an RP. RP is an F3, and the uh, Texas went really quickly there in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And uh, Iguchi is the batter for Chicago here in the bottom of the fifth of a 1-1 game between the 2005 Rangers and the 2005 White Sox. That is a seven. It's on Kenny Rogers' card. I loved Kenny Rogers, by the way. Love that guy. And uh, that is going to be an uh, 18. And an 18 is going to be a single to center field. Single for Aguchi, who struck out last time. And Uribe is the batter with one man on and nobody out. And he gets a four, which is on... Um, uh, it's on Rogers' card, and it's a 43. 43 is an out. He is an RP. RP is all go GX6. Um, GX6 with a man at first would be a force out at second. Um, shortstop to second, batter safe at first. But is there an error? And there isn't. So if that is a fielder's choice. Runner is at first with one out. And Zednik is the batter. Back to the top of the order for Chicago. That is a nine. That'll be on Zednik's card, and it's a 38. And a 38 is going to be a strikeout. So Zednik strikes out. And that leaves it all up to Rowan to try to knock a man in here all the way from first base. Because nobody's hitting anyone here. And uh, an 8 will be on Rogers' card. And it is a 31. And a 31 is going to be a strikeout. Right at the end of the strikeout range. And so no runs come in for Chicago there. We go to the top of the 6th in a 1-1 one -one game. Teixeira is the batter. 
he gets a uh, five, and so that's on uh, Rowan, or it's on uh, Garland's card, and it is a 46, and a 46 is an out. Teixeira is an SP, SP goes all G, five. Uh, we will check for the error, but there is none. So Teixeira goes five to three to lead off the sixth inning for Texas, bringing up Gary Matthews. Gary Matthews, Jr. That's a six, and that'll be a 63, which is going to be an out. And um, he is an SP, and an SP all go G2A with a, um, let's see, with a, uh, with a possible error. And error four to 10 on the, um, on the catcher. And the catcher is is Przinsky, and that is no error. And so that's two down. And Blaylock is the batter. Two down with nobody on. And that's a ten. It'd be on Blaylock's card, and it's a sixty-four. 64 is going to be an out, and he's an LP. LP is all go G6, is GX6, possible error, error 6 to 10, um, and the uh, shortstop is a 2, and so that is not an error. And no runs come in. For Texas, we have a scoreless tie between two really good offenses, really, if you ask me. And Canerco is going to be the batter. You're going to have Canerco, Thomas, and then uh, Jermaine Dye coming up this inning in the bottom of the sixth for the uh, White Sox. That is a five. It's going to be on Rogers' card, and it's an 81. And an 81 will, of course, be an out. Um, and all go F7. So Canerco flies out to left field and up steps uh, Frank Thomas, Big Frank, gets a five. That's on Kenny Rogers' card. You get the feeling that nothing's going to happen until these pitchers are out of the game. 82, and an 82 is going to be an out. Thomas is an RP. RP is all go G. Uh, one with a possible error, but there is no error, so he's out. And uh, Jermaine Dye is the batter. And Jermaine Dye gets an 8 and a 32, and 32 is going to be a walk. So Jermaine Dye gets a base on balls, and that will knock um, Rogers down to 7. But he's still got a lot of gas in the tank. And Joe Creedy the batter. Creedy the batter is on his own card, and it's but it's going to be an 81, and that's going to be an out, and he is an RP. And RP is L5 with a possible error, and the error says uh, 3 to 10. Um, so the uh, third baseman... Third baseman for Texas is Blaylock, and that is going to be an error. And the uh, type of error is a two-base error. So a costly two-base error by Blaylock. Puts runners at second and third with two down and Przinsky up. And they really just need anything from Przinsky, any sign of life here. That'll be on Rogers' card, though, and it is a 62. And a 62 is an out. And uh, I'll go G4 with a possible error, and the error is none. So that is an out. That is indeed an out. And no runs come in for the White Sox. We go to the top of the seventh in a 1-1 game, and Lance Nix is the batter. So Garland and Rogers pitching great here. 
And that's going to be on Nix's card, but it's a 55, which is an out, and he is an LN. LN says all go G1 with a possible error. Error is none. So it's 1-3. to three. Nix is out to lead off the seventh inning. And DeRosa is the batter. Nobody can do anything here. And it is a 6 and a 21. So it's going to be on um, Garland's card, but it's a Garland card 21, and that is going to be a single to right field. And that will knock Garland down another one. Garland is now at 7, but it's still, you know, gas in the tank. DeRosa gets an 8, and that's going to be a 37. It's going to be on Garland's card 37, and that is going to be... A, an out and DeRosa is a uh, or DeLucci and DeLucci is an LP LP gets an G5 with a possible error and error is none and um, so yeah let's see G5 is double play so there was a man on, yeah, so that's a double play, and no runs come in for Texas in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. White Sox, could, they're getting in their territory here. They're the home team. They could win this thing with a run in one of the bottom of one of these innings with the way Garland's pitching. And um, is Przinsky not up? No, it's a Gucci. A Gucci is going to lead off the bottom of the seventh for the White Sox, that is a five, and it's going to be on Rogers' card, but it's an 84, which isn't out. And that's all go F9. So Iguchi flies out, Uribe comes up. Uribe gets an 11. It's on his own card, but it's going to be a 76, which will be an out. He is an RP. RP is an L1, 1 to 3. No error. And Pizednik is the batter. Pizednik gets a 9, and that is going to be an 84. 9 and an 84. That is going to be on Pizednik's card, but it's an out, and he is an LN. And LN is an L4. Line out to four. And, or wait a minute. Oh, that did it on the wrong side again. But no runs come in for Chicago. And we are in the uh, top of the eighth now. Top of the eighth with uh, Soriano, the batter. Or no, Baraja. Baraja is the batter. For Texas. You got both pitchers, still got a little gas. And that's an 8. It'll be on the pitcher's card, and it's a 25, and a 25 is going to be a strikeout for Baraha. Baraha Kang. And that brings Michael Young up. Michael Young with another good player. Liked him a lot. It's on his card, and it is going to be a 13. And a 13 is going to be a single to left field. So there's one out and a single for him. And Garland comes down to a 6. And Alfonso Soriano comes up. That's going to be on Garland's card. It's an 87. Or yes, an 87. And that is going to be an out. He is an RP. RP says FD7. We check for the error, and there is none. Um, so that is going to be a fly out. And uh, Teixeira is the batter. Two down. Runner at first. And that is a 7. It's going to be on Garland's card. And it's a 77. It's going to be an out. He is an SP. SP gets a G5 with an asterisk. Air is none. And uh, Texas got nothing in the 8th. We go to the bottom of the 8th. 
now it is big time right here because if Chicago gets a run right here, all they have to do is go to the ninth inning and shut Texas down. And so far, they've been pretty good at doing that. And Aaron Rowan, I've got Aaron Rowan as the leadoff batter. What do you guys at home think? Yep, that is going to be Rowan. It's going to be Rowan, Canerco, and the Big Hurt. Could be a problem for the Dodgers. That is going to be on Rowan's card, and it's a 41, and a 41 on his card is um, going to be a strikeout. So Rowan strikes out, bringing up Canerco. Canerco is going to be on Rogers' card, and it's a 46. 46 will be an out. He's an RP. RP is all go G2 with an asterisk, possible error. The error is none. Canera goes out and Thomas is up. And this might be another one of those like games that I did with 19, I think 1948 or 49, where it went 20 innings. I don't want that. <laughs> Thomas is up, and it's an 8, and it's going to be on um, Rogers' card, but it's a 32, and a 32 is a walk. So he does walk the big hurt. And that will knock Rogers down to a 6 and uh, bring up Jermaine Dye. Jermaine Dye gets a 7. It's on Rogers' card, but it is a 75, and that'll be an out. He is an RP. And an RP is a G5 with a possible error. Error is none. So he's out. And we are going to the top of the ninth with both uh, pitchers still out there. Both starting pitchers still out there. They still got gas in the tank according to the game's, uh, the game's tracking engine. So you got Gary. And plus they're both uh, pitching great. So you got Gary Matthews is going to lead off for Texas here in the ninth. And it's going to be on Garland's card, and it is an 11. And that's going to be an infield base hit. So infield hit for, um, for Matthews. That is going to knock uh, Garland down to a 5. And they're going to get... Um, action up in their bullpen. Bobby Jenks will warm up. And uh, that brings up Blaylock. Power hitting third baseman Blaylock. And that'll be on uh, Garland's card. And it's a 33. And a 33 is a strikeout. Right at the end of the strikeout range. So that is one down with one on. And Lance Nix the batter. Lance Nix getting a 7, so that is on Garland's card, but it's a 33. And a 33 is a strikeout, right at the end of the strikeout range. And Rosa is up. Two down. And that is a 6. It's on um, Garland's card. And it's a 34, and a 34 is a walk. So now they've got two guys on. And that does bring uh, Garland down to a four. You got a feeling that they're going to try to see if he can get through this inning. And DeLucci is the batter. Bottom of the Texas order. So that's going to be on his card. And it's going to be a 38. 38 on his card is an out. And DeLucci is an LP. And that goes all F5. Well, now you truly have a situation where... We're going to the bottom of the ninth. So if the White Sox can get even one run here off of Rogers, um, they win the game. And Jermaine Dye is the batter. Now in nineteen or in two thousand five, he actually pitched. Oh, they don't say they don't. He had thirty starts, but they don't say how many innings. He pitched. But anyway, Jermaine Dye is the batter to lead off against him, I believe. No, it's Creedy. Creedy will be leading off. That is a six. It's on his on the pitcher's card. It's a 66. That is going to be an out. Creedy is an RP. 
I'll go G4 with a possible error, and error is none. So that is an out, and Przinsky is the batter, the catcher. And that's going to be a six. It's going to be on um, Rogers' card. It's a 75. That's an out. He's an LP. LP, I'll go G, uh, F4. And Iguchi is the batter. And that is going to be a four. It's going to be on um, Rogers' card, but it is a 57, and that is an out. And he is an RN, and an RN is an F7. So, no runs do come in, and we go to the top of the 10th inning. And they will be, uh, the White Sox will bring in a relief pitcher, and the relief pitcher is going to be uh, Bobby Jenks when I find him. And there he is. So Bobby Jenks is coming in. He is an R, um, RR4. So he starts at four. That's not really good. But the batter, is the batter going to really be Baraha? Again, it is. So Baraha is the batter. Here in the top of the 10th of a 1-1 game. And that's a four, and he is in control two to eight. So he is in control, and that is going to be a 22, or wait, a uh, 25. And 25 is going to be a strikeout. So Baraha strikes out. You might well expect. Michael Young is up. Michael Young getting a 10. That's going to be on his own card and a 53. And a 53 is a walk. So Jenks walks uh, Michael Young. And that is going to be one down uh, off of his declination table. So he's down to three. Soriano up. That's an eight. It will be on Jenks's card, but it is a and it's a 17. 17 is going to be a single to right field. So they've got two guys on, and uh, Jenks only has two left now before they're going to be going off the batter's card all the time. And Teixeira is the batter he gets a nine it's on his own card but it's a 77 he's an sp that because that's an out um and an sp i'll go g5 the error is none but let's see what the g5 is with man at first and second Um, that will be a, probably, and my guess would be it's going to be a double play. Double play, yep. And so, to share grounds into a DP. And, no runs come in for Texas. Um... And they will bring in a Texas will bring in a relief pitcher for Rogers, just because you know realism. And they will bring in Cameron Lowe, and Cameron Lowe is going to start at a five. And Uribe is up; he is in control two to eight as well. And is it Uribe? Yes, it is Uribe. And then the top of the order. Five, so it is on Cameron Lowe's card, and it's a 62, which is an out, and Uribe is an RP, and an RP is an FD7. Possible error, error is none. Up comes Pizednik. Top of the order. 
That is a 10. It's on Pizednik's card, but it's a, it's a 46. And a 46 is a walk. So Pizednik gets a walk. And that does bring low down to a four. And let's see. They're going to try to steal with him because he's an OBR, OBRA. So there, uh, we, I guess we roll the two dice. And that is a 62. And a 62 is wild throw by the catcher, stolen base, and runner to third. There's the uh, opening that they needed. So Aaron Rowan is up with a man 90 feet away. The infield is going to come in. And that is an 11. It's going to be on Rowan's card and it is a 42. 42 on his card is going to be a strikeout. They really needed that. That's two down with a runner 90 feet away, and now they will bring, bring the infield back. But Paul Canerico is up. Can't walk him because the big hurts up. It's on his card, and it is going to be a 26, and that might be it. It is. It's a home run for Canerico. He hits a two-run walk-off home run and wins the game for the White Sox by the score the final score of 3-1 to one in the bottom of the 10th off Cameron Lowe. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.